Hi everyone and welcome to day six of the 12 days of Christmas and today we are going to be doing this lovely canned can which has the um a bow and what looks to be some sort of holly uh the holly and the ivy uh, on it as well so let's get started i think this will come out really nice so i think that's going to be quite lovely to work with and uh we'll get going shall we so yeah it's very excited for this one actually because it's uh, classic red and white colors sort of old-fashioned sort of colors there um so yeah really really good whoops really really good i'll put some there as well this white one you always get loads of this color so yeah do that one there okay and then we're back to red again Absolutely. I've got three left after this, and then I've got two special ones. Because I, I think you only get ten in these uh, in this pack, so I'm going to do two uh, two special ones after this, which will be sort of Christmas related, um, if I can. Because <laughs> obviously it's the month of December, so it has to be Christmas related. Gonna get some more wax there. That looks really nice. Obviously try and make sure that you cover the symbol because um, you don't want to get any bleed, you know, from the colour underneath. It does feel really weird um, doing Christmas stuff in the middle of February, but uh, I'm on a mission to try and get my stash down and normally I won't work on Christmas stuff until um, you know it's near Christmas but because I you know I'm try I, I really want to get the stash down I wanted to get them done and out of the way really and where possible I will try and get you know the next month uh, filmed in advance as well and uh, get that all sorted out I love the fact that the white ones are not shiny. I think that's really cool. So yeah, let me back to, we have used an awful lot of this green color. So I'm gonna say, you with diamond painting, you'll always get a color that's the most used. And normally it's a 310, which is a black color. But in this case, it's this lovely green sort of, sort of emerald color, which is the one that we're using here today. Um, so yeah, but uh, next week we've got Valentine's, so I've got my brother's card and um, cause his birthday is Valentine's and I know that there's problems with the mail at the moment at my uh, where I live and uh, it's coming like once every two weeks but it's like quite a lot of it, it's like 14 pieces of mail at a time because they're like daily mail and uh, I thought there's no way I'm going to risk sending it here for it to just get stuck in their depot all week you know this is a celebration birthday card that I need um, so I thought well I'll send it to my mum's because there's never if they have delays it's always like one or two days but Braintree is really deteriorated so I sent it there and I thought please come today and yes it came first class as well so that was really nice so I, even if I was to pay like first class and send it here, it wouldn't get here because they've got problems within the depot. So it's very annoying. And 
when I spoke to them, they said that they don't have enough people um, on the rounds to cover the route. And I'm thinking, I, it's just the same crap in it over and over. But again on the news, um, Mike, or is it Mike or Mick Lynch, um, said that the people had an offer for the train drivers and that, and it was a really terrible offer, so they're not gonna be, they're gonna impose more strikes. Um, I don't think Royal Mail have got any more strikes, but I'm sure my friend would tell me if they are, because she normally notifies me if they are. Um, so yeah, because she works in the, uh, the Whitham Depot. So the one I do after this will probably be like a, because we've I think we've done all the best ones at the moment, so it'll probably be like a, a boring one, but you will get that in paintings, I'm afraid. <laughs> You'll always get like really good ones, and then there's like boring ones as well, but I think we've, I've got one more that's of all crumbs. I put that on the wrong one. I've got uh, four more that, no, I've got, one more that's really, that's just probably an exciting one, I suppose, but it's another Santa that we've done. We've already done a Santa, but this Santa doesn't have the presents. But um, I've already chosen what I'm going to do for day seven. So, fun! Then, Goodman. <laughs> Strictly come dancing. I think that show should be axed. I'm not really a fan of it, to be fair. Um, I've watched it on the off chance if there's nothing else on TV, but it's not really something I uh, I like watching. So yeah, I'll be going over to my relatives uh, on Valentine's. Um, I mean, it, it's an awkward situation because for some reason, me and my brother don't really get on. Uh, it's been like it for for years, um, even as kids and that. And uh, for whatever reason, we just don't talk. I mean, he wasn't present for my birthday. He's probably going to go, oh, let's all go out and, you know, all the texting behind your back and plan something and then they all go out and I'm not included. But... At least I've sent him a card. I'm trying to make the effort, you know, because I've got to the point where I just don't want to buy him anything. You know, if you can't be present for my birthday and if you can't, you know, speak to me, then I can't give you a card uh, or a gift. And Christmas Eve was a nightmare last year, uh, last year because he came in in a foul mood. Whether something happened at... Um, Billericay, which is where I think it's Billericay or Chelmsford where they live um, I don't know but he just he's got this thing where for some apparent reason he he washes his bedroom uh, no he washes his work clothes but he won't wash his work clothes with his indoor clothes even though they're the same colour because it's like to him that's dirty you know and then whenever he works, he changes his bed. Now, I'm not being funny, but I don't change my bed sheets every day. I change them once a week because they don't need changing every day or every time you've had like a, a shower or something. So, yeah, it's, it's rather annoying. Um, but I'm gonna make the effort, you know, at least I don't know if they're going to plan something because I've got this horrible feeling they're going to just call or text and then I get left out. And if he does that, that's fine. You know, although it will hurt, I will, you know, at least I've made the effort to give him a card and that. 
but what I have t chosen, it was a very difficult decision, I have decided not to buy him a gift because he doesn't use it. It gets slung to the chair. I mean, my sister bought him a, a, a mini pool table and he just doesn't use it. I bought him a diamond painting like two years ago, still left in the bag to now. And I just think, I, I'm not gonna bother anymore. I've tried and I, I you know, I can't, can't be bothered anymore. But it'd be interesting because when it's my birthday in November, it will be interesting to see if he buys me something which probably won't happen. I mean, me and my sister um, have had rows and then because she's as i said she's got this attitude problem and if if you tell her she's wrong and it's generally she's wrong she gets very nasty with her tongue and she will basically kick off an argument uh you know even though we've tried to tell her she's wrong and then she eventually calls down and you know realizes that she's wrong so yeah, it's, it's really, I mean, she used to have a boyfriend and she pissed him off and the previous one to that because with her, she doesn't like changes. So if you, um, I don't know, if you was to change, like if, if her boyfriend was to say, right, I don't want to do that now, she'll like, get the um it has to be her way or no way and i you know that's why we don't really talk i'll be civil but i just don't like her attitude you know and uh last year she didn't buy me a card but then i didn't buy her a card and the following year i thought i'll buy her a card you know but i'm not going to get too much because we don't talk and uh at christmas time she talks it's almost like she only speaks to you because she knows it's her birthday coming up, so she wants to get a gift from you. So, oh, let's put all on, you know, the nicey nicey act to get a gift. And then, you know, in, in January, back to square one of not talking. It's just ridiculous, but yeah. For a mad moment then, I thought I'd done the wrong color, but I didn't, so that's good. <laughs> So as you can see, these little projects don't take uh, long to do. You're probably looking at about 20, 30 minutes max. But yeah, I'm a bit annoyed with DHL because they're coming, even if DBT say next working day, they come on Saturday. I don't know why companies seem to think that Saturday is not a working day. The majority of companies still work Saturdays. So it's really annoyed me because it's now much the whole of my day up for Monday because I was supposed to go to the opticians and now I can't do that. So I'll have to rebook it again, you know, and it's really annoying. I was in the dentist the other day and I found out there's a secret passageway um, where you room, because their rooms are like, half the rooms are over here and then you go through this secret passageway and there's another room, it's like an L secret passageway and uh, there's another room up there, so next time I'm gonna go up there. I'm right out there. <laughs> But yeah, look at that, we're coming to the end of another one now. So, uh, here we go.
I have to slow down a bit, I've only got three left of this pack and then I'll be doing two uh, special ones for just for the last two days of the 12 days of Christmas and stuff. So yeah. But there we go, another one done and dusted. Beautiful. So let's get ourselves to train. Whoa, nearly fell out my hand there. Doesn't want to go in. <laughs> so I'm just going to widen up the, the, the link thing again. Take the uh, paper off next time. I mean, if you wanted to, you don't necessarily have to have this um, key ring thing on here. I mean, if you wanted to use it as a tree decoration, which I'm thinking I might do, because I'd, I'd like to get, what I'd like to do with these is I'd like to keep them as key rings and then I'd seal it so that the jewels can come off. And then what I'm thinking of is maybe I will do um, a few more for Christmas tree decorations and stuff. So yeah. dusted for the sixth day of Christmas so I will see you next time which will be tomorrow for the seventh day of Christmas of the 12 days of Christmas and uh, these are the next ones that we've got so it's going to be out of this one this one or this one so I'll keep you guessing on what we're going to do quite bizarrely we did have this um, but I've not seen one that has used the letter P, so that's quite interesting, unless that's from a different pack, but they have, it is from this run, but I've not seen one where we use the letter P yet, which is rather interesting. Um, I don't know, it's a mystery. Or it could be that I've got another key ring somewhere, um, and that's what that's for. But yeah, be out of these three next. So yeah, so I hope you like that. I've really enjoyed doing that one. It's really, really good. I still think my favourite is definitely the uh, little reef. I think that's my favourite at the moment. But please remember to like, share, subscribe, tap the bell if you want to be notified. If you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, subscribe already. Uh, please consider subscribing. It's totally free and it doesn't cost you a penny. If you want to get these um, key rings for yourself, then you can check out the link in my description. They're roughly about $3.99, but remember the prices do fluctuate. Um, I paid three ninety nine dollars for mine, but if you do want to get them, I highly recommend them. They are great to work on. Until next time, see you later. Bye.